Okay, uh, the customer had this helmet removed and reinstalled. So he took the helmet off, and uh, you can see, well, this is, these are, these are damaged. We got one, two, three, four, five more with ladder dings on it. More importantly, you know, so that helmet is pushed too far back. So you can actually stick your two fingers between the, the gutter and the panel. Uh, there should be no more than a three eighths inch gap between the gutter and the panel, but we have got one, two, we got three damaged panels, four damaged panels here. So that's something to reckon with also, because that'll just shoot over at the, the foreman that knows is important. So what we'd want to do is take and remove the helmet, maybe come in with a larger, uh, depending on where they put their second course of shingles. Um, matter of fact, it looks like they went on top of the roof. They didn't go underneath the shingles, so. Uh, yeah, and if they don't use the butyl tape, that's gonna be a problem. So what we'd have to do is take the panels off. We'd have to take the gutter helmet panels off, lift up the shingles and flash under where all of the protrusions are right now. So we piece, put a piece of aluminum up underneath between the two courses of shingles and seal that down so no water can get underneath. And then our new helmet panel would go up underneath that second course. Um, so that's what happened. And some they got under, some they don't. So that's what we gotta do here. We got 10, 15, 20, 25, 30 feet.